Hello and good morning. I'm Ohad Schwartz and I'm the CEO of Coral Bone, where we develop bioactive bone grafts out of corals that we grow ourselves. Bone grafts are widely used in case of, to increase bone volume in case of bone loss, injury, and defects. They also commonly used to support an ankle implants in implant procedures. And this is all that is done mainly in orthopedic spine, which is the, grow, uh, the biggest market in dental procedures. The sources for bone grafts are mainly from orga organic source, which is human bone or animal bone. The growing segment, however, of the bone graft market is the synthetic product and the second generation of it, uh, and that includes coral as well. One may ask why another product is needed, whereas a lot of products in the market. And the answer is because there's a problem. There's not an optimal product in the market. The organic-based product, though they have excellent clinical results as they are a bone, they carry the risk, uh, the biological risk, which is the risk of disease transfer and rejections among the risk that were reported. Synthetic products, however, and mainly the second generation, which are the bioactive product, they don't have the required strength. So a new solution is required. And that's exactly what we're offering to the market. We grow corals, and we leverage the coral bone-like qualities, which are widely known, by embedding bioactive minerals into the coral structure. You can see the coral structure here. It's a coral structure very similar to the human bone. Strength is similar to cancerous bone. And chemical composition is also very similar. But what we do is that we embed the bioactive minerals, mainly silicium, which is highly known uh, bioactive uh, uh, ingredients, into the coral structure, and that's uh, it's evenly distributed over there. That creates the bioactivity, which is the ability to attach new stem, uh, new stem cells and bone cells into the surface of the bone graft which uses a scaffold to grow a new bone from the bone graft and outwards. It also creates connectivity between the new bone and the old bone, so the result is a stronger and healthier bone. And we do it without any organic substance. It is 100% mineral, no, no biological risks. There are several bone graft companies that are using corals from the sea, but today, Harvesting corals is forbidden, so there's no control over our region, potential contamination, the sea is polluted, and it's also, they, are not also, they are also not bioactive. We've concluded multiple preclinical studies in different models, and as you can see here, we had within 21 days, we have new bone, and a significant volume created, and not only new bone, new bone marrow was created, and this is a clear proof for being bioactive. We also tested our product against leading products in the markets, and we had better results than those. We grow the corals in a fully commercial site in the Arva. You can see here, and we have multiples like that, which in every and each pool, we have hun several hundred of corals that we monitor online. We have, I mean, basically we have family tree for each coral, so we know the source of it. So we control it for purity and growth, and we grow them at a rate which is more than 10 times faster than nature. It is a large market, 4.4 billion, expected to be in 19, uh, 2017. About one quarter of it belongs to the dental market, and the rest is spine and orthopedics. And there were also major acquisition in that market, and you can see that most of them are for synthetic products. We can see that Interpro, which is a coral-based a product was acquired, and in the last two or three years, you can see that uh, two companies that produce synthetic uh, product which contains silicium, the same mineral that we're using to gain bioactivity, were acquired as well. But again, those products are weaker than the one that we offer. We have highly experienced team in all the aspects that are needed. I've managed several uh, medical device companies prior to establishing uh, Corbon together with my partner, Professor Binderman, who sits here in the crowd. And Professor Binderman has more than 30 years' experience in bone biology, bone regeneration, and bone graph industry. 
It was also the medical advisor to Interpol who developed the first uh, coral-based product that was acquired, as I showed before. And we also have Asaf Shacham, who is our coral man. Nothing less to say here. Bone grafts usually come in granules, which comes in vials like that, or in little blocks. That's exactly how we're going to offer our product to the market. And our marketing strategy is to enter the dental market first, and in Israel. One may ask why dental? It is a smaller market, pricing is less uh, lucrative and more competition. But it has lower barrier for entry. It's private pay. Uh, dentists are willing or anxious to adopt new technologies and new solutions. So we can generate uh, initial revenues uh, quite fast. And more important than that, it's clinical validations. Once we have that in place, we plan to expand our presence into the global dental market and uh, to the orthopedic market via strategic partners. We are currently looking to raise $800,000 to complete our C and FDA registration to perform post-marketing studies mainly in the dental area, expand our manufacturing, and start sale. In short, we are offering a better product at a lower cost for a patented technology innovative solution that provides strong and bioactive bone graft material without any biological risk. We have excellent repeated preclinical results. Uh, regulation is CE in uh, 510K uh, class 2. We are going to submit our C application within weeks from now. We are completing all the tests. We have highly experienced team in all the fields that are required and we plan to launch our product later this year. So you don't have to wait too long to see a better product at a low cost in the market. Thank you.